pickup video today. Uh, we are off to get a full single speed bike and a um, and a frame. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, and I uh, can't remember what they are. What are we picking up? Two Koners. Two Koners. Two Koners. So let's go get them. So here we go. There is Kona number one. She is lovely, as expected. Uh, just picked it up from a, uh, a guy that runs a, a storage facility in Bristol here. Lovely old place, it used to be a tobacco, uh, tobacconist. So just quickly, there's the SIDs, they've got these clips on them, so I'm hoping they've not been done up too tight, just in case of whipping those off. Undamaged stanchions, please, and bunging a bit more air in there. Uh, M950 uh, Vs, M950 levers. I think they're first, the first generation Cross Max. If they are, that's cool. Not done many miles. Still got the coating on there. Some sort of cool tyres, Continentals. And the main event is the frame in good shape. I just wish it hadn't been single speeded because I wonder what the rest of the group set was like before that happened. Probably pretty nice. Uh, looks like, that looks like Sunny Joe, however you say it. Uh, oh no, Shimano. Shimano, so it might be LX, XT, who knows? That's, that's number one. On to the next one. And there we go, just picked up the um, <coughs> the cooler. That's, this is the second um, the second Kona we're getting that I've picked up. Um, pretty nice, actually. Um, yeah, it's got the Sunny Joe 900 chain set, which I'm pretty sure is um, top of the range one for, for them, or pretty well up there anyway. Uh, aluminium frame, so it's quite chunky compared to all the other 95 steel frames that I'm used to looking at with this sort of paint scheme. Um, yeah, it's kind of quite like it really. I think I'm going to go for some of the um, some of the Rock Shocks, Judy. I think it's the SLs that come in gold, and the XC are the one up in yellow. But the, if I get some SLs, it'll suit this the colour of these decals quite nicely. Yeah, see how it goes. Got the Kona Race Light post on there, which I didn't check, but the guy assured me is not stuck. Minimal wear on the um, rings. So that's good, don't have to replace them, I'll stick with that chain set, bottom bracket's good. Uh, program Eastern Aluminium Tubing. Well while we're down there you can see how good my sills are. Not very, a bit crispy. Anyway, I digress, that's, um, that's that one. Yeah, let's get them home. So. Picked them both up, um, as I saw earlier, they've got these uh, clips holding them on. That I'm guessing it is to um, stop the fork leg compressing because they must have run out of air. And someone didn't realise you could undo the undo these and put some more air in. So I'm going to take these horrible things off and um, hope there's no damage underneath. Uh, not too bad. A little bit of wear, but okay. Oh, that side was pretty loose anyway. Uh, no damage. I bet these sink all the way down now. Yep. No wear. Right. Time to pop the little screws off here. See if they take it. And screw these. Football bump needle. I want to play belong. Yeah, there they go. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just pumping up these uh, forks, pay. Huh? Fixing a bike. And the second leg.
Lovely. Yeah, that's turned out pretty okay. Tiny bit of wear on the stanchion there. The age not too bad. And those nasty uh, clips didn't leave too many... I didn't leave any marks. There we go, that's pretty good. Still don't know what to do, whether I should build this one or build this one a bit more. Yeah, that's it for this one.